and we are here what's going on how everybody doing it's your boy eric aka young god coming to you live in the green dungeon giving it to you real raw rugged and um i have somebody over the phone right now or over skype and i'm gonna let them introduce themselves who are you i'm the one and only sugar hill all right everybody uh how you doing today what's, what's going on with you i'm blessed it's early i'm here in miami i'm just getting up actually um, yeah, we was talking before we got off camera about Florida. Um, are you from Miami? Um, no, actually, I'm not. Um, no. Um, actually, um, my hometown is, I was born in St. Croix the VI. I left when I was five years old. So, actually, I don't even claim that. I claim, actually, a small town outside of Deland, Florida. Hmm. Okay. So, you grew up in Florida? Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Um... Yeah, so, I'm sorry, I forgot to even ask this. Uh, for the people who's very confused on who you are, just let them in, though, like, who is Sugar Hill? I am the one that everyone knows from Charlie Mac. Charlie, can I get you some chili in the kitchen? Off of the vase. Horny Black Mother's 10. That's me. Okay, so, you are the first ever person I've interviewed that's dabbled in porn, so it should be an interesting, fun interview. Yeah, Thank you. Ever, so. This should be an interesting interview. Um, so let's see where we will take this. So let's take it back to the beginning. Um, what made you get into porn? Um, you know what? Okay, it's gonna be funny because um, um, I have a friend named Kimberly, and she was in Barbershop One and Two. So, um, she knew I was going through a little situation, and she was like, she called me up, and she was like, Sugar Hill, I got like ten stacks on the table and I was like shut up so she was like you want it I was like yeah so um she set me up for the interview I thought I was going in for like a, a regular modeling job because at that time that's what I was doing I was modeling clothes and she was like um when they I saw um I think it was um uh, cherry blossom because mm. I looked at porn so I already I was like damn isn't that cherry blossom and, but I was like, damn, why is she here? She's modeling clothes too. So when Kim walked in, I was like, damn, what kind of uh, interview is this? And she's like, don't worry about it. You got it. So she was like, I know the guy. And um, I knew Charlie by face, but I didn't know his name. So um, they was like number 81. And I was like, she's like, that's you, that's you. And he was like, TT boy was like, what's your name? I told him Sugar Hill. He was like, we got our, we got, he asked Charlie, and Charlie was like, yeah, I want her. That's how I got it. Everybody, it was like 80 girls there, and I got picked. What made you think that you got picked out of all the girls? Um, I, I don't know. I think it was my ass. I don't know. So I, he said, actually, we was, a, we was, um, when Charlie, like, looked at me, he was like, that's who I'm going to be working with. And we hit it right off. Charlie is like a great dude. It's like our chemistry together is like so, so great together. It's it's compatible. What made you come up with the name Sugar Hill? Because like when I think of the name Sugar Hill, <laughs> like before I even like look at you, huh? You think of Harlem? No, okay, when I think of a per when I think of a porn star named Sugar Hill, I'm thinking I'm finna get a black woman and she gonna have like some 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 uh experienced coochie like she know what she doing with that like sugar hill sound like she finna throw the thing down that's what sugar hill sound like 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 if a nigga had if a nigga had diamond and a nigga had uh sugar hill i'm like man sugar hill know what she know what she doing boy goddamn you hear me like <laughs> so tell me why sugar hill well you know what i don't i don't like to toot my own horn but so so i don't get no uh I don't get no bad results or reviews, but uh, I got the name. My first, I started dancing, and my name used to be um, like Black something. I don't know, Black Cherry or something. And the guy who used to do my hair, he was um, he was a uh, um, he was on the you know the gay side. He was like, "Girl, that's not your name," and he was like. Oh, bitch, I heard you was on the, uh, you was dancing now. And I was like, yeah, but the name don't fit me. He was like, I got it, Sugar Hill. He said, look at all that ass, all that sugar. He said, that's where it's at. So, that's what, and then we were looking at, it's, it's so ironic that Wesley Sp 
Hunt's movie came on, and he was like, that's it, Sugar Hill. And ever since, I've been wearing it. That's my name. I bought it, LLC. It's mine. So uh, that, that's my name. I think it's safe to say that you, you like your butt, because you, you say it a lot, because like, even in that film which you're talking about, you say, all this is, all these fit is. It's fit is. And it's funny. It's funny. So, <laughs> uh, I had to do some research. It's not that I was, like, it's not that I was sitting there watching it. I just had to do some research for this interview. <laughs> some hands on research, you know? So, well, you know, like Trina has her legs, J Lo has her legs and her ass. You know, Pinky has the hair, Lisa Lips have lips. I gotta have something. So, you got that. I have my ass. <laughs> What an interview so far. <laughs> okay, so you, you, you go and you do the audition and you you make it first cut. Can you tell me about your first day on the job or your first scene? Um, was first that your first scene? The the one we're talking about? Yeah, the first day on set was, um, um okay, I went to casting. Um, they let me know right then that I made it. Um... You know, me and Charlie talked. He was like, "That you're gonna, I'm gonna be working with you." And I was like, "Great, you know, no problem." I went and researched who Charlie was because I did not know. And I was like, "Damn, okay." So I'm thinking, um, let me just say this: people hit me up a lot. They be like, "Oh, I want to take Charlie Max place. I want to do this." Really, Charlie didn't even want to take his place with me. It's like porn is like a um. A movie. It's like certain, mm -hmm. it's like sets. You know, tape, mm -hmm. set. We got, you know. So the first day of um, taping, we um we got to know each other. The do's, the don'ts. Um, you know, and just to fill each other out. Like I say, we were compatible. We were, it was just like, you know, red women are attracted to dark skinned men. So that was a plus right there. I mean, Charlie's not ugly. He's very attractive. So... You know, um, and I hate to hear people say, oh, you were faking it. You were faking it. I don't know about some other women, but I, I don't like the, 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 the lie on my coming. So men, can, men can't fake either, but I, I, I was very impressed with Charlie all the way. So that's what I was going to ask you. Like, do you actually get enjoyment when you're doing porn? Because I hear some porn stars say, like, it's either here or there, but you actually enjoyed your time. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, I woke up to like a hundred messages every day. Why do you stop doing porn? Why do you, you know, I stop for personal reasons. Um, I would love to continue to do porn. Um, if it's with Charlie and you know, you have those people that you just do not want to, uh, do scenes with. And I won't say any names, but I would love to do scenes with Charlie. Uh, if I did all my scenes, they would be with Charlie. Um, like I said, I love Charlie. Um, it's, you have to have that spark. Um, whether it's in porn, I mean, you just can't get in. It's just like riding a bicycle. Like, well, people say that, but that's not true. Not to me anyway, because you have to have that certain spark. You're not going to do a good job if you don't like going into work every day. Am I right? Yeah. So <clears throat> every day I went to set. I was really happy working with Charlie. I mean, that that's how it was. I'm, I'm being frank. Um, now, if we ask about Justin, um, it was okay. I just don't like the type of man that say, oh, you got to thank me for fucking this pussy. How the fuck, bitch? You, you're fucking me. I'm doing you a job. I just don't. I, that's just me. So, are you, so you're not submissive is, during sex is what you're saying? I, I'm really, I'm really not. I'm just not one of those characters. I just, I just can't. So are you, are you the dominant one? Like, are you like, nigga, take this pussy. And you're like, whoa, <laughs> this Sugar Hill pussy. This shit's sugary. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You said this your first time doing the porn star. You are feeling, uh, you know, when I want to be, I don't like to be in control, but I don't like to be manhandled either. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I like to be, um, Oh, I like, I like to say, uh, like rough sometimes. Like, you know, is this pussy good? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know. 
I, I know. I get you. <laughs> like when you you hitting it from the back and like your hands going up and down the woman's back and you get to that spot. my friends she's a she's a woman and i was talking to her yesterday and she was uh she was she's like um not witty with her words i'll say that so if you could give her some advice because she wants to learn how to i guess talk nasty during sex she doesn't know what to say she thinks she says something it's gonna be awkward and it's gonna mess up the whole I, mood I, hate, I you know what i hate a man that's dead when we're having sex mm. if you're not talking to me or like if i'm not if i'm, I'm giving you head and you're just like not saying anything, I'm gonna get up. Cause I feel like I'm wasting my time. Mm-hmm. If you're not saying it's good or yeah, baby, oh you suck that dick so good. Mm-hmm. You're not I need cheering. I need I need some cheering. I need some enthusiasm. I need some I need some uh I need a co defendant while I'm dying though. I need you to tell me what you like what you I need a codependent. That's hilarious. I, yes, yes, that's what I need, baby. And we get we on the crime, we on a crime spree, bitch, together. And I need for you, <laughs> we getting caught together. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So I mean, that's sounds cool and all, but are you are you cheering on him too? Are you being a cheerleader too? Oh, yeah. Okay. What? That's what she need. She need advice on what, like, like what, like what's your go to shit? Like, what's, yeah, she need to know what to say. Okay. <laughs> I'm not shy. I'm not shy about my body. Uh, I love my body. So in that case, is she shy? Because um, I love a man to like kiss on me, touch on me, especially eating it, eating pussy in ass. I'm telling him what if he doing it wrong? No, baby, that spot right now. That spot right now. That's good. Right now. Right now. I mean, you gotta let him know. I don't think she's shy. She's awkward. So like. She just wouldn't know what to say because she just don't want to mess it up. She's she's second guessing what she's gonna say. You cannot mess up when you're fucking. When you're in the move movement, when you're in that when you're in that position, you can't mess up. When your legs are behind your motherfucking neck, you can't mess up. How you gonna mess up? The only way you mess up is when you say, Oh baby, eat this pussy and you fart. That's the That's when you mess up. <laughs> Hold on, see, I can see you're very, you're very expressive towards your sexuality, like, you're very comfortable with it, right? Have you, like, has this always been a thing since you was, like, in high school? Like, were you always, like, the girl that was vibrant about her sex, or is this something that's, like, a newfound confidence? No, my dad was a pastor. Mm, I mean, y'all be the wildest ones, I know that for a fact. Now, I dated, I dated a pastor's daughter, and I know how y'all be, man, y'all the wildest ones, man. Y'all the wildest ones. That's that's a fact. That's that's in the that's in the dictionary. That's a fact right there, man. That's a fact. You make a lot of sense now. <laughs> that fat ass make a lot of sense now, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm so appalled. I <laughs> make a lot of sense now. Man. That's funny. Tell your friend. This is the advice I want to give your friend. Mm-hmm. Tell let her know that she needs to sit with her mates. And let him know. Let's talk about it. Let him tell her that um she's uncomfortable. She she wants to know how he'll feel. Like you know, baby, I don't feel. I I want to say things when we're having sex, but I don't want to say the wrong things and see what he says. Like, does he talk when he she's like sucking his dick? Do she suck his dick? I definitely don't know all that. I don't want to know all that. But so. I'm just saying that's what you okay. need to tell her. Tell her that she needs to sit and they need to talk. Because if she's feeling this way, how is she ever going to know if she's doing it right? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, she's, if she's going to be with this man for the rest of her life, she has to know. You ha- Conversation is the key. Mm-hmm. I found that out. <clears throat> and I, I, I love talking. I, love, I, t- I talk in my sleep, so yes, I talk. 
like I said, you seem very confident with it. So would you say it's safe to say that do you have a high sex craving or no? You do have a high sex craving. Is that like a it hold is that like is that your like porn side talking or is it like an honest fact like you do? I don't no it No, it let me tell you. To be a porn star like Kinky says, you have to enjoy this job. If you do not enjoy this job then you're either doing it for just a check and that's the wrong thing, but you have to have something um, that triggers you to want to be in this business. Mm. Um, I can tell you about me. My my sex drive is very high, even with the um, my partner now. And it's like, if he comes, it's like, bitch, we, you need to make me come. You need to eat pussy or something. You need to finger me something to make me come. And he, he's like, damn, you're like two hours coming. I don't care. That's just me. It's like, I, I just have that. Mm. And then after I come, I want to come again. It's just like, I, I just, I'm just that way. I'm oh, a Libra. So, so I, hold on. So you mentioned that you got this, like, you have a partner now. Like, are you guys in an open relationship since you, like, you know, you may dibble I, dabble in porn? Stop it. He's like my play play partner. He's someone I go to because I enjoy having sex with him. So you're using a nigga for his dick, basically. <laughs> That's basically what you just told me. That's cool. <laughs> Shout out to that nigga, man. He gonna be heartbroken when he see this shit. <laughs> like, damn, I thought I was your baby. <laughs> he gonna be in shambles when he see this, man. It's crazy, man. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you Florida? Hold on, hold on. Let's talk about Florida women. Florida women are deceiving. That's what you guys are, man. I met a lot of Florida women. He knows, no, he knows what's up. If he wants, he he stays with me. And he knows what it is. We don't go together. He knows when I call him or he calls me. If I want to be bothered with him, I'll fuck him. If I don't want to be bothered with him, he knows to either wait for me or find somebody else. He knows the rule. So you will play. You will play. He know the rule. That's God damn man. You got You gave that nigga the Ten Commandments. <laughs> nigga, thou shalt not call me when I'm goddamn eating. <laughs> God damn man. On your shit right now, man. I like it. I like it, man. Yeah, I mean, I think I like it because you seem like a woman that knows what she wants, and I don't think it's anything more attractive than a woman that knows what she wants because a woman that's lost and confused is like, ah, oh, yeah, you could take advantage of her. But a woman that knows what you want, you're like, oh man, like she competing with me. It's just like a, you know, it's like a give you an edge or whatever. So yeah, that's. Why well, wouldn't I? I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm going back to my age. I'll be 48 the 20th of this freaking month. I be on, let me tell you, I done deleted like over 70 niggas this morning on my Instagram. I completely tell you, don't get on my shit talking about you want to marry me, you want to wife me. I don't want to do that. I, I No, this is a business page. I done did that, been there. I'm over that shit. Jump on anybody else's page and do that shit. I know what I want. I don't want, I don't want to be in a, you know, a solid relationship right now. I want to do my thing, get my business together, take care of my shorty, and run these niggas and get my money. That's what the fuck I want to do. And if you cannot do that, kick, kick rocks. I don't need that. That's crazy you bring that up because I was, uh, I was going through your Twitter, like I said, doing some research, and you were, like, going awful niggas. Like, you be, like, killing niggas in there. I be feeling bad for them. Like, <laughs> like, are you like that in real life, too? Like, do you have, like, um... Like, just like you, like, like in your personal, like, when you just out and about, do you be going off on people? Because I feel like you might have, like, a little snappy That's attitude. when I got my shorty. If I have my son, and you know who I am, but like, in Miami, they know me. They know me from when I used to dance. So, I get much respect, like, from Broward on back. So, like, if I'm anywhere else and they see me with my son, they like, hey, Valerie, hey, Sugar Hill, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm out... And you disrespect me with my son, I'm going to slap off. Mm. I don't care. I be like, hold on a minute. And he knows. When he speaks, my son knows. If someone walks up to me in their room, he be like, Ma, really? Yeah, I'm going to handle this. And I try not to, but I feel like if you see me and I'm not like with my club, with my ass all out, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know. Yeah. I'm with my son. I'm, it's mommy time. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm by myself, you see me drinking at a bar somewhere and you want to step to me, that's fine. But don't step to me with that bullshit either. Like, 
hey baby, what's up? Aren't you that bitch from um, Instagram? No, I'm not that bitch from Instagram. Mm. I'm Sugar Hill. Yeah. That's how you can address me. Men have to think about it. You are rude. You are rude to the point where you don't want us to get rude back with you. Mm-hmm. Don't be rude with us. Mm. Not me anyway, because I know what my dick sucker can do. You know what your what can do? My dick sucker. What that is? That's your mouth? <laughs> my mouth. <laughs> Please. <laughs> For the people that don't know, because I don't know, so what can your dick sucker do? Because I don't know. Explain what that. Explain what it do. That's a slang for mouth. Mm. That's what we suck dick with, right? Your dick sucker. Okay. Oh, he's so much. Yeah. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. Oh uh, well, well, I mean, before we get out of here, is there anything else you got to say that I forgot to talk about? Or you want to talk about before we get out of here? I just want all my fans to know that um, you know, I still do the personal. Um, I'm not doing porn, um, you know, openly, but, um, I do fetishes also, so you can cop those at Jim Brown, SKI 79, or, you know, I got my only fans up at Sugar Hill, XXX, Mm -hmm. so check me out, I really enjoyed my little, um, interview here, and, um, thank you. Hold on, do you, are you ever going to go back to doing porn with companies? Um, you know, I have had a lot of companies hit me up. Um, I don't know. Don't make me lie. I mean, I would if the money's right. But as far, right now, you know, I'm doing great on my own. So, that's how you're just going to make it stay like that? Just going your own? You never know. You yeah. never know. You, you never know what could happen. I feel you. I feel you. You never know. Well, I just want to say, um, for the people watching, I think me and uh, me and Sugar Hill had a really good interview. Her her feety is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we had a good one. And um, yeah, until next time, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate. Players gonna play. Holla at your boy.